Uh, my name is uh, Jose Padilla. Uh, I, I was born on November 24th, 1936. Um, I was 90 years old at that time when we were on this territory. Uh, we were looking for a cow that was going to calves. Can you, take, and, can you take your glasses off or do you need them? No. Do you need them? No. I can see too good, but... <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we found, we were uh, dodging the rain, a heavy storm, when uh, a thunder, real thunder came up. And I told Remy, you know, it must be another uh, test from another bomb. And he says, no, he says, it doesn't look like that. So we got from underneath the ledge of the rocks and uh, he says, look at the smoke coming up from that, from the ledge out there. So we got on the horses and trot down here, down the arroyo. We stopped over here, tied the horses over to a mesquite. We start walking up, up the hill. And that's when we seen more smoke coming out. And went over to uh, the ledge of the hill there and uh, we seen this, this big, huge, uh, something, that object. And uh, it happened, you know, I had my binoculars, I started looking around and... Uh, through a hole of it, I, I seen uh, that these three creatures were uh, run, sashaying back and forth. Describe to me what the, what the object looked like and roughly how far away, the color, the shape, everything. Okay, the that uh, sheep or craft, whatever you want to call it, uh, was about, I see in measuring on footsteps, it might have been about uh, 30 feet long on an oval shape and uh, almost uh, uh, higher than uh, the rafters on a house. Now the rafters on a house are usually 15 feet. Okay, so you're looking at this at this object. It was the, what was the shape? It was shaped uh, on a noble shape. Okay. Uh, the colors was uh, like a grayish. So you're looking at this object. What are you thinking? Uh, thinking what what is it? You know. And now, uh, afterwards, you know, when we seen these creatures running back and forth, uh, I wasn't scared. Remy was scared. He wanted to get out of there. And I told him, look, just little people there running back and forth in there. And they're, they're squeaking like a, a, like a, like a, a rabbit. And I, I started thinking, well, are they, are they animals or what, you know? But uh, after that, you know, I, I said, well, let's go to you know, and help them. They're, they're hurt, you know? Which uh, I, I was pretty sure that they were injured. That's what they were running back and forth squealing in it. And then he says, no, no, no. He says, well, we better get home, you know. Uh, afterwards, he says, you go ahead and go. He says, I'm going to go in the horse and take off. That's when um, he, then he started crying. And uh, we just got back on the horses and took off. Went home, told my dad about it. And he says, uh, we'll wait a couple of days. We'll go and check it out. Did your dad believe you? Uh, at first he didn't. But then when I told him, you know, we, we, we seen that, you know, then he started realizing, you know, that uh, we seen something that, uh, uh, so he took off at work that day and this policeman came over, you know, and gave him a ride over here. And we got on our pickup truck, Remy and I, and we drove. When we drove down where that turn was right there, that was real, real dangerous. Uh -huh. We couldn't see nothing. It looked like someone had pushed rubbish and all that on top of it, you know, where you couldn't see it. Then the sun started shining up. That's when we started looking at that, the big object that was living there. But someone had swept the ground with something and cleaned up everything that was there. That was there when we left it a day and a half. C can you describe to me in, in better detail mm -hmm. how you saw these kids, as you described them as children, 
or whatever they were, how, how the, the, the gash, I guess it was an opening in the, in the, there was a, an, um, a gash on that ship that was ripped like, um, for example, a, um, a panel yeah. that yeah. was ripped off. Grab a rock, for instance, if you could show me if it was something like this. Just show me, you know, describe to me, show me with your hands where, where the, how the object was on the ground. If you, can you put it down to the ground? Uh -huh. how, how, what angle you saw it at, where the gas was, all that. Can you show me? The object was sitting that way. The gas was on this side right here. We're looking at these guys. Describe to me what they look like, color, their skin, their eyes. Uh, they were uh, bullheaded, uh, slang eyes, teardrop eyes, uh, no ears, unless they had, a, had a, a coating of something on it. And I noticed that the, their shoulders were kind of narrow, but had long arms. And what I surprised me that they had four fingers. Only four fingers. Only four fingers on this side. Long arms. Yeah, long arms. Longer than, uh, probably longer than what a monkey would have. Were they naked? Uh, they didn't have, uh, they didn't show no, no sign of uh, genitals or anything. You know? Just like a, it, it seemed like it was like a, a tight uniform or that was the, the ski, their skin. The nose, you know, you can see no, no, no holes for the nose, you know, where they could breathe or anything. The mouth was an open, real round, kind of round. Okay, and then, and then what were they doing? Like I said, they, they were just uh, uh, running back and forth, you know, like uh, trying to hold each other. Uh, like, uh, for example, if uh, they were lacking of oxygen and trying to, you know, help each other on it. Did, what did you think to yourself when you saw them? What were you thinking? Uh, uh, I wasn't thinking. I was just uh, surprised, you know, that uh, it's a shock. I was just surprised to see anything like that, that we had never seen any, anything on, on our lives, uh, not even around pictures. Pictures never showed anything about UFOs or anything like that. And to me, when they stand up and they're going back and forth, when, when I look at it without looking at it through the binoculars, they, they remind me of a, a, a fire ant standing up. The way that their head was, you know, and the, and the shoulders and all that, you know. What do you say to someone who says you're making this whole story up for attention? What do you, what do you, how do you respond to that? Uh, well... I would ask them, you know, if uh, if they were there, and if they weren't, you know, I was. So windy. Okay, so so can you just talk, maybe just talk a little bit about what you saw, the size of the craft, where the position was. That uh, it, it landed right in here. The position was that there was a little hump right there where he was leaning on his side. And you could see that the hole was from, uh, we were behind that mountain right there, looking up this way, and the hole was facing up, uh, I say, the, the west. And that's where I, uh, uh, we seen this uh, little creatures running back and forth, you know. So How close did you get to the crowd when it, when it crashed? From that mountain right there? So this little one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Right oh. behind there. The, the brush was pretty pretty high there, you know. And there used to be uh, cactus trees. You change, you know, in the years, you know. Right, right. The, yeah. So let, let's describe some detail of what the craft looked like, its position, what you were thinking, all that. Uh, it was a grayish color. Uh, the... Vegetation over here was burning. You know, a lot of smoke coming out of the ground. And uh, that's what we see from there. The creatures, you know, that they never got out. They were just sashaying right through where that hole was you know, on the object. And uh, we stayed here for 
quite a while after that, you know, I, I was going to tell Remy, I told Remy, I wanted to go there and help him because they were hurting him. Yeah, he says, no, he says, we better get home. At that time, you know, of course, he was getting late in the afternoon as the sun was going down. Now, can you can you take these guys? I'm just gonna film from I'm gonna film from here okay. and just walk them around and show them exactly where the craft was, how it was positioned. Just describe every detail you possibly can, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna film you guys. So you okay. guys, you guys just talk to each other. What what's okay. them get the? Uh, no, I've got these boots on. They're perfect. Yeah. But your staff, you know, might. Uh, no, but listen, Jose, I'm just trying to see what's carved out. Yeah. What what is this? The, because nothing grows in this spot. Yeah. Careful. That's where water collects. Okay. Water collects in this spot. Water comes in in this spot, uh, but no, uh, no vegetation uh, grows like out here. So you notice out here how it is green. Yeah. Nothing grows in here. So is even this, if you is plant this it. Is the size of the craft? Yes. It was, it was 30, 30 feet uh, uh, and a noble shape. Because this is more than thirty so this feet. Kind of yeah. Well, it, it, it rested right here. Okay. It rested right here. Because when they, uh, when they built that, that uh, L frame, the, the truck was parked right in here. Okay. They, lo they lo loaded it on. Yeah. And uh, they took it out from here. So the L frame but, was over there? Yeah, it was right in here. The L frame. See. Okay, now where did the, the soldiers put the pieces? that they were cleaning up. Okay. There, there was a crevice down in here yeah. that led into that um, bunch of dirt right there. And I, I, I'll show you how the other side is. Okay. Where they uh, pushed, the thing. they pushed all that down. Because this wasn't there before. Uh, okay. The crevice was right down over here like that, and they were brushing everything inside. It's possible that there's pieces on the other side of that. Okay. Remy always talks about digging for pieces. Would, would the pieces be on this other side? Uh, when that bulldozer came over and, and uh, cleaned up over here and built this dam here, they, uh, they, uh, it's possible that some of them pieces came up, up the ground. So sometimes, you know, you could, uh... A bulldozer came over here. Mm -hmm. they, they dug some of that out, and the crevice that was right there where they pushed a the piece of that, mm -hmm. it's possible that they pushed it up here. Could they, they do, could they have done it on purpose to could. bury the pieces? Uh, no, no, that, that was to build a dam over here for the water for the oh. cattle. But they might be some pieces laying laying around, you know. From where we're standing right now, the berm behind you wasn't there. No, no, that was a. Um, uh, it was flat, down to about right right here. It was flat. Afterwards, my cousin built this with a bulldozer so that he could build a dam. To, to collect water for the cattle. Can we just talk, talk a little bit about about the about the craft and about the occupants? Yes. Um, while we were there watching them, uh, the occupants that were in there, uh, like I said before, you know, they they seemed to me like they were hurt, and uh, we were here for for a while. And like I said, I tried to uh, convince Remy, you know, that we could come over and, and help them, because I know that they were injured. But um, Remy didn't want to do that, so uh, we just went home. When we came back a couple of days later, uh, that craft was still there, but all the remaining of the rubbish and all that wasn't, uh, uh, was, it looked like someone had raked everything and cleaned up. I don't know whether the soldiers came before that, before we got here and clean up, or someone had to come over and clean up there. Okay, now, when uh, my dad 
and the policemen went in the craft. They came out of there, you know, um, like like a different person. I don't know what. Then uh, he, the policemen decided, you know, that we should go, you know, and have them come over, you know, and take care of it. That's when they uh, decided to bring that trailer and uh, they build a, that A-frame for that, uh, for that object, you know, to load it. But it's, that object sat over here since uh, 18th until the 26th. It was the 26th about, um, or later than this, that uh, we seen the soldiers get on the jeep where that old highway is, I mean, the old road, and they took off and no one stood here. That's when we decided to come down, you know, and see what, what was in there. That's where I, when I took that part off. Can we go up to where you were, see, you were looking at the craft? Can we walk up there? Oh, uh, it's a long ways, but we can do it. I think we should. Right. Okay, so you were standing here. Okay. Yeah. We came up this ravine out here. Uh, we tied our horses down below on that arroyo. Then from there we walked up here. This was a big, big, huge mesquite. And th here's where we were looking through the vernacular down below where that crab. You seen that the crab there that was uh, smoking, burning on the bottom, or the weeds, and that's where I, we seen. I seen through the binoculars that uh, the three creatures were sashaying back and forth through the hole, but that hole was visible from here on this side. And tell me, explain once again why we have a, the wind has died down. So you yeah. came from where? Show me. What's that? Show what? me where you came from. We came from this ravine out here on the east. Came out, we um, got off our horses down below on the arroyo there and tied them down to a mesquite. From there we walked all the way up here, came out to where this it used to be a, a big tree mesquite here. From here so we started looking at that object up there where where he had landed. How big was the object compared to that truck down there? About uh, four times bigger and a noble shape. Wow, so could that, the hole in the truck be as, uh, the hole in the craft be as big as that whole truck? Uh, if you turn the truck upright, It was a good, uh, uh, probably uh, eight feet by 15 feet high. What did the creatures look like? Uh, just like little, uh, little boys. Can you give me any more description? Uh, uh, this, there was a, a grayish color light grayish color, uh, their arms were long, and I, I noticed that uh, they, they had four fingers only on his hand. They didn't have no, uh, no ears, unless they were wearing a, a, a tight uh, uh, uniform. What about their eyes? Their eyes were uh, teardrop big eyes, Teardrop shape. Is that scary? Uh, no. 
it didn't seem to me like uh, like they were being scary. 